Well, hey guys, welcome to Kilner's Whiskey Corner. Today, we're gonna to be sampling Art of the Spirit, another Colorado whiskey. Let's have a sip. All right, guys. So today, like I said, Art of the Spirit whiskey. This is a whiskey out of Denver, Colorado. Let's see what we get on the nose. Mmm. Now this guy, is a, oh, what is this? This is a 90 proof. It is not one that bites me on the nose. I know some of those, uh, mm, I get some like buttery caramel notes right away. It's a, it's a great way to start that. It's not overly sweet, but it's not bitter at the same time. You know, kind of like you get some of those rise where that, that spice gives it away to that bitterness. Mm. Right away, you, you instantly get that, uh, that barrel, note to it, uh, that kind of that barrel spice. Mm. Not getting any of some of the other traditional flavors like a cherry or a dark fruit, but uh, it, it also has a little bit of brininess to it. It's not bad. Mm. Well, that really brings that up. That there brings out some of those uh, herbal notes to it. Um, that barrel spice is really stuck out now. Now that burn, it does come alive there. But for a 90 proof, it's not bad. If I was going after something like barrel strength, I would absolutely assume that it's gonna be there. But as an experienced whiskey drinker, one would know which way to help you get rid of that. Let's see what we get, just a touch of water. really brings out the sweetness to it. That brininess kind of gives it that punch. It, a little bit of water, it also meets that barrel spice. It almost goes from like a, a buttery note to more of a, like, kind of like a sugar cookie. Now, as you've already noticed, I've got my glass ready with a little bit of ice. That's the way I personally like it. Always remember, whiskey is best liked the way you like it. Don't let anybody ever tell you different. Again, that, that barrel spice is pretty muted. It does bring out a lot of those, uh, those herbal notes. It's not a sugar cookie. It still has that nice sweetness on the tongue, that vanilla notes to it, so. Not too bad. So. This guy is based right here in Denver, Colorado. This is uh, started by a guy named Richard Paul. Now, most people might notice that, you know, there's an artist rendering on the front. Now, what they did was they took uh, pictures of real models, and then, I can't remember the gentleman's name, I think it's David something. He uh, took the renderings and made canvas paintings of them, and then they put them on here. With uh, that, I believe that they do about a handful of actual uh, full-size paintings that, that you can purchase, and they do come with a bottle. Now, with that being said, these are limited bottle runs. This one right here is bottle 112 of 150, and I've got bottle 18 of 150. So, not bad for a Colorado bourbon. A little bit of a traditional flavor. I feel like it's a little, almost a little underwhelming, but not bad. It does have that good, simple flavor, so you're not sitting there going, what's that, what's that, what's that? Mm. With their limited runs, from my understanding, this Art of the Spirit is going to be, they're, they're gonna be running out of this run soon and they're gonna be starting up a new one, but that's also what's nice about this, is you're never really gonna get the same one over and over and over again, but with this batch, it's kind of a limited run. Um, and for this whiskey, this is a, I got this guy for $65. Now if you're gonna buy, shortlist, consider, or avoid, I'd have to say this is a consider. It is a special run. They do also have a cast strength that may be a little more, better to go after. I've seen that one go for 140. So for this guy, it's not a bad whiskey. So thanks again for joining us. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll be coming back every Wednesday with a different whiskey review. Thanks, and have a great afternoon.